Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the absolute and relative route path in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the router link active and router link active options. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous part of this tutorial series. Let's understand what is the meaning of the absolute and relative route path. So if we talk about the absolute path and the relative path in the Angular 15, so like if you will say now for an example let's go here and here if you will see so basically like if like so router link is basically used to redirect from one component to the another component if any component which has the slash now for an example like this router link this contact us it has the slash so it is called the absolute path now if any you know, router link which does not have any slash like this so it is called the relative path so in the same way right absolute path we can specify absolute path for a route by using a slash before the path in that case the path will be appended to the uh, root url what is the meaning of this one now for an example here we have the this contact us and that has the slash now the basically uh, like it is a absolute path now what happened in that case is basically now for an example let's understand this is the this is the root path now here this is the uh, root path so in this like when we click on the contact us so it append into the root path only so the url will become like this but in case of the relative path means like uh, in, the, in, in the case of the student so it is basically what happened it append to the currently active route what is the meaning of this one now for an example currently active uh, is the contact us only and after that if we have clicked on the teacher so what will be the path it will be after the this so this will be the path in the case of the relative path so basically absolute path like if any path path we give with the slash so that is called the absolute path and that this path will be appended to the root url in case of the relative path we don't specify the slash and it means it is called the relative path and relative path is appended to the currently route active now to understand this one what i will do currently we have the slash for the contact us page so now let's go on the contact us page so here I have the contact us page and in this HTML what I will do here I will specify a and here I will say contact us now in this what I'm going to define I'm going to define a router link and here I will specify like contact us let's say contact us now let's save this and go on the browser so if you will go on the come on the browser let's click on the contact us so when you will click on the contact us and when you will hover on this one so in the bottom you can see here in the bottom you can see it is saying contact us slash contact us means currently the active directory is basically like the contact us so that's why it is appending to the current active directly directory so like when i will click on this one what will happen it will say like that page is not found because the current uh, like if you will go again and if you will hover on this one and in the right uh, like left bottom if you will see here so what it is saying the local host 4200 contact us less contact us so currently the active directory is the contact us so it append to that only that is the relative path now to uh, get rid of this problem like currently when we click on this one obviously we don't have this path that's why we are getting this issue so to get rid of this problem what we can do we can make it as a absolute path path so if you will put the slash and now if you will go on the browser and let's click on the contact us when you will come here we can see now it is showing as an absolute path and if you will click on this we, we are redirecting to the same page only but the next thing if you will make here the dot if you will put here as a dot so again it become the 
relative path only so now after saving this one if you will go on the browser and let's refresh it so here again you will see here you can see it is showing the double path only here like contact us slash the contact uh, contact us and it become the relative path again here now to get rid of this problem is basically what you can do you can use the one more dot here so let put this dot so what happened with this dot it will go one level up in the sense now if the current url let's copy uh, this one so i will copy so what will happen in that case now it will like with the double dot it will go one more level up now if the contact us is currently coming here so what will happen it will go one more level up and it will be before this one so in that case it will work as i expected now if you will go on the browser and here currently we are on the contact us page now if you will hover on this one you can see down with the double dot it is basically showing the correct path and if you will go here it is redirecting to the same page now like for your practice what you can do you can take as in teacher uh, component and you can put the slash to this one and you can try like currently i have used the contact us all here so it might be a little confusing for you so you, you can try with the te uh, teacher then while trying if you face any problem you can ask me in the comment section now the another thing like uh, if you will use if you want to do one more dot dot and such slash so what will happen it will go to level up now for an example if you are having a something like uh, about and then if you want to go on the one more level up now for an example i have this side so it what it will do it will go two level up so from here it will go here and then here so this is the way like the, the, the basically it become in that case like if we use the double dot so it will become the absolute path so this is the difference between the basically uh, the absolute path and the relative path so the main difference between the absolute and the relative is like if we are using the slash then it is a absolute path if we are not using the slash then it is a relative path if we have the absolute path then it always append to the root directory or root url and in case of the relative path it always append to the active route so that is the difference between these two so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you